Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, everybody, to another tutorial. This one is obviously cranes. So in this tutorial, we're going to be covering a few of my dot cranes that have been requested by my viewers and subscribers. I've got a couple small dot cranes in the back, and we'll also be going over the big gantry train uh, <laughs> cranes too. I did that earlier. I kept saying trains <laughs> because I already did a train tutorial, so that's what's on my mind right now. But anyhow, um, I've got a few cranes down here that I'm going to show you, and this tutorial should be broke up into two sections. The first half will be based on the small dot cranes, and uh, then the second part will be on the big gantry crane. So if you're here for that one, there should be an annotation on the screen as to what time that one starts here in the video. So we have two basic cranes. Uh, one's facing forward, and obviously one is facing at 90 degrees. These are based off my original design down by the big enterprise. Those that follow the channel have already seen it. So uh, you, you got an idea of what it is. It's, it's just the same thing as this. It's just got a straight boom on it. And uh, these have been modified a little bit. These are not my final designs. Uh, I'm still working on them, but <laughs> everybody seems to want them. So I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, tutorial on it. So that's what we're going to be building in this. Let's go ahead and jump over in my flat world, and we'll take a look at some quick dimensions, and we'll get started. All right, guys, so we are in my flat schematic world, and this is basically where I keep all my... All my builds, I'm putting it into a flat world and trying to get it organized. And yes, eventually this will be up for download. Um, just not right now because it's not quite ready. Uh, but anyways, this is where we're at. And these are our cranes. This is the one that I was talking about in the beginning. This is the original design. And it has a, a straight boom on it with the load up front like that. And these are the two that uh, we saw. So we're going to build these in the first half and that in the second half. So is what we need to know is we need to know how much room do these fuckers take up. All right. Well, these small ones right here at the uh, widest point is actually 21 blocks, and that's from the outside of these iron bars to the outside of the other iron bars right there. And from iron block or from track to track, they are 19 blocks apart, and that's counting this block as one and counting this one as 19. They are 25 long from this point to this point down here. And the cab up to the top of the cab is 36 blocks up to this point right here, I think. Dude, this layer or that layer, but I think it's this one right here, guys. And 59 blocks to the very top of this uh, boom on the, the ones that go up. So that's the basic dimensions on these. So we'll go ahead and jump right in and start building in just a second. Uh, I've already got the bottom part laid out, and then I've got some top pieces that we'll look at later. I just want to show you some things that uh, are going to be repetitive in this build. Uh, again, these all three are the same. All the legs are the same on the bottom. They change up here at the top just past the solid base. So uh, this is where you're going to pick your color, whether you be out of this is a wood, and um, of course, obviously, these are wool. But everything from there down is exactly the same. So we're going to build one side, and then you guys can build the other. And then from there, you can decide whether you want a straight cab or a turned cab. So let's pick a little spot over here, and let's get started. I'm using Minecraft for Kids as my texture pack. It is modified and no longer supported. And uh, link's in the description if you want it, guys. And also, there is a link to my Build a Better World. That should be down there, too, what you saw there in the beginning. Um, one note. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, the 1.52 update of the Build a Better World doesn't have all this in it yet. Uh, that was all. Uh, that world was updated, uh, uploaded before all this was put in there. So, anyways, let's get started on these fucking cranes. Throw down an iron block, and you're gonna go up one and back four, and put another one. We're gonna use block of wool and iron bars, and that's gonna build your first uh, wheel section. And all four wheel sections are exactly the same. So we're going to go up by two. We're going to go out one. Just like that. And now we're going to count back. 23 blocks. So counting one, two, three, four, five, six, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right. So come in one block, put two. Go underneath that, put two. Come out one. Come out one. One. <laughs> throw, throw down these. Put in your wheels. And your iron bars. 
same thing on this side and that's your lower half now go back to your block of iron or again guys you can use stone or cobblestone for this it doesn't matter that's uh, completely up to you starting off this block go up five two three four five same thing over here two three four five now we're going to do sets of three and three of them so starting on the second block down one two we're going to go up two and then one more so there's your first set of three off of this block here go up three off this block go up three now off of this block go over three and up two up two that'll give you a block of six on the second set go up five just like that do the same thing on this side so starting on the second block one two three one two three one two three over three up two up two gives you six and up two up two just like that we should have 13 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 half 13 is 7 no it's not <laughs> but, but in minecraft it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now bring this down on this particular design guys uh, we're gonna have the stairs going up into the cab on the left hand side where the other set is going to be over there you can rotate this uh, however you like uh, so if you want the stairs on the other side just reverse it put two blocks underneath grab your stairs or your ladders excuse me and put them up the side just like that now off the second block go back to your block of iron and we're going to go up one two three two three just like that now four now five and now three sets of seven which is two more than five i <laughs> hope you guys can count that and seven and seven and now work backwards two three four five two three four three three and that is your first leg section now let's put the cross members in so starting down here we're going to go over one over one let's get the fuck in there and over one and over one just like that now we're going to go up six diagonally counting this one two whoops three four five one two three four five and six same thing over here two three four five and six count across the middle one two three four five six and seven just like that now go up diagonally from this one and two and that should connect into that corner block one and two just like that that is your first leg section whoops let's go ahead and finish off our ladder going up just like that now you're going to build one exactly like that uh 19 blocks away and that's from this iron block right here so we're going to go over counting that block one and i'm going to come out one so i make sure i go back one and if you do the same thing do the same thing or you're going to be off one goddamn block one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen go back that way we're even and i'm going to start you on the first uh, uh <laughs> wheel section and then you guys can finish building this piece so right there's your layout there's your wheels throw your iron bars in and we'll see you when you get this section done all right so that's what you should have now you should have two legs just like this so we're going to go back up here to the top we're going to go to the inside three blocks add one on each side that makes five do the same thing over here three blocks add one on each side and that makes five now on the first third and the fifth block counting either way doesn't matter go ahead and connect not down there just like that first middle and the other outside just like this go to your iron bars and fill in in between whoops that's not iron bars that's fucking ladders <laughs> go ahead and continue filling the middle in just like that all right now the lower part of the uh the secondary crane i call it now this can be done again with a wooden block uh, cobblestone or whatever you want here it's just a secondary crane that runs underneath for picking up smaller shit whatever come in at least two blocks i'm going to go three and then you're going to go back to your iron bars 
and go across and stay off the same amount you did on the other side. So I did two on that side, do two on this side, grab your fence posts and come down as many as you want. If you want to put a load on the end of this, whoops, which is just basically a rectangle and with some shit on it, <laughs> or you can leave your hook open. You can put just one on like that, or you can go ahead and make your iron bars out one on each side, just like that right there. And that is the lower part of the crane. Now let's move up again, back up to this section. All right, back to your iron blocks, and we're just gonna cover up on the outside. One, two, three. We're gonna follow the outside of this. Run that down. And three out here, and on that side too. Fill in the center with wood or again whatever color you're going to be using for the body of the crane. Alright, with the same block, come out to the second block, come out one, two, and then run this way until you get the same position on this side. So one, two, and the exact same thing over here. Just like that. All right, go back to your block of iron and start right here in the middle and run a beam all the way across the center to the other side. All right, where you're, this is on your ladder side right here. So you're gonna go up one just like that. We're just making a little notch to walk through is all we're doing. And we're gonna go diagonal from that two and three. Same thing on this side. Just like that. And now run this down here. Let's build this side first. So just off of this block, we're going to go over one just like that. And one over here just like this. Now we're going to run this down across that wooden open section. And that should stop right here. And same thing on that side. Alright, grab your ladder and keep moving this up until I tell you to stop. So we should have two more pieces in there just like that. All right, go back to your iron block and we're gonna build this up by one on the outside. Now we're gonna to go to the inside and we're gonna pull each one of those in until it's level across here or even, let's, let's put it that way. Now over here on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go up by one and we're gonna go in one and put one on the corner like this and connect that across just like that. So you should have seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go to your wood, <laughs> go to the outside, and run that all the way down. And that should stop right there on the corner of that block. Do the same thing over here. All right, now the third block in, one, two, three. And this is not critical, guys. You can readjust this block later. This is gonna be where you walk up into the main cabin. So for right now, you can go ahead and put it here. Once it's built, you can dig the hole through the cabin wherever you want to. Uh, but as for right now, this is where the ladder goes up in and <laughs> walks up to here. So that's where your first section of ladder will go. All right, go back to your iron block and we're going to build everything up by one. So go ahead and build this up by one. Build the wood up by one. And on this side, you're going to build up the back section by one. And then you're going to come forward and fill in right here. So you should have five blocks across just like that. And throw one more wood piece here and put a ladder on the back side. and we're just gonna keep walking that up. All right, go to your wood block, start on this corner right here and run just to the inside of your iron blocks. Go back to your iron block and you're gonna put three blocks just like that. Now build this outer wall up by one more. Stop right there, do the same thing, go to the inside and to the outside, fill that in. Now go back to your iron block and put three there, wood block there, and a stair, or a ladder rather. All right, the next section is super easy. We're gonna go up to the inside and all we're gonna do is fill in this big hole that you're looking at. So just go to the inside of the outer wood row and start filling it in. And remembering to leave at least one hole for the stairs to come up through. So they're gonna be right here. 
and just build around that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get up in there, guys, <laughs> and then just fill on the top. All right, that's what you should have. Now, for this next part, I use stone slab. Uh, you can use cobblestone or stone where if you want to match the sides of your crane. Again, mix and match how you want. Three blocks to the outside, just like that. Run it straight all the way down, straight. Go across three, so you're leaving one block. Whoops, no, you're not leaving one block. That's where I fucked up last time. <laughs> <laughs> go to the outside of that and run this back and stop there so you have one block gap on the outside with two blocks in the corner just like this and go back to your wood or your body color and just make a square around that hole so basically when you're crawling up through that hole you can't look back and see in here unless you really want to <laughs> all right guys let's move on Alright guys, so this next section is going to determine which way you want your crane to be facing. This is where we left off, up there on top of the crane. So that's what you should have right now. So at this point we're going to decide whether you want a front facing crane going this way to that way, or if you want it turned facing this way to that way. So let me get the sun back so before it gets nighttime and we can't see. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set up each one of those. So the front facing crane is going to be just like this sitting on top of your double slab so we're going to go three to the outside and then we're going to go one here and then to the outside so let's go ahead and build this first all right so go three to the outside one two and three whoops <laughs> three go to the inside by one go here and then just outline Oop, my mouse got stuck <laughs> stuck on something on my desk and run to the edge right there Come in by one, get your three blocks over here, and run this around to get back to that corner, just like that. Now you're going to go in three, three blocks, or actually four, and I'm going to count on the double slab because it's a lot easier to count. So you go one, two, three, and then on the fourth block, you're going to come out two. So one, two, three, and then on the fourth block, one, two, and then connect it. So you should have that and then do the same thing over here one two three four come out two and one two three four come out two so this should be five wide and it should be centered and then go ahead and put a floor on it leaving your gap in the middle so that you can come up your stairs and on mine i have just a bigger opening uh, your ladders right here on the one we've been building it's no big deal let's go ahead and put your floor in Just like that. So we should have the same thing, and we do. <laughs> I didn't fuck up. All right, now we're going to locate for these pillars are just outside of the rows that have the three windows. And they are three high here. And the same thing here. And now your pillars go just to the outside of that. And then the rest is glass, three high. So you're just going to have, just outline your wood or whatever material that you chose to make the crane out of. And now just build that up by three. And this is what you should have. And then on the fourth layer, you're going to top it off with your material again. Now I've got this open in the middle, but yours is going to be solid. And when we move up to the top of that crane, I'm going to move that up there. So that's how you build the front facing uh, cab. <laughs> now we're going to build the side facing cab. And this one's just a little bit different. You're starting with the same thing where you've got your double slab and your layer underneath. And there's a hole in the middle. So let's take a look at it. And this is going to cover up the middle section, and that's just going to have a bigger piece on the outside. So let's go ahead and build that. Cover up, starting right here, five blocks wide. And then cover up your double slab. Go to this corner and go across. Now fill it in solid, leaving your, your hole right here. I believe yours is right there. Just like that. Now we're going to go to the outside. And as you can see, we got two. So we're going to go out three, four, and then five, and three sets of five. So starting on the third block, go one, two, three, 
one, two, three, four, and then five, and three sets of five. Then back to four, then back to three, and that's that side. And I think I'm gonna run into this over here, but just do the same thing. I started building a little too close. Do the same thing on this side, come in two, go up three, four, and then five. Same thing. And when you get up uh, your glass three high, your locating for your pillars are right here, again, right next to your three. So all you're doing is just turning this 90 degrees. That's it. Just like that. And your glass is right here. Three glasses high. And again, you're just outlining the outside of the crane with glass. And then building it up three high. And then same thing on this side. Pretty easy guys, nothing real complicated here. And then go ahead and put this top piece on. So when you get up to the top, you're just covering it up with your material. That's all you're doing, just like that. And then fill that top piece in solid. Now we're gonna go ahead and build the front facing crane first. So we're gonna go up there and I'm, I've already got it floating up there. <laughs> Didn't wanna show you, but oh well, it's up there. I'm gonna move down with the uh, world edit here in just a second. And we're gonna have the same thing sitting on top of that crane and we're gonna go ahead and finish it off. Once we finish the front facing crane, I will place this on top and uh, and we'll build the boom. Or maybe we'll build the boom on the front facing and then we'll build the boom on the side facing. All right, let's just fucking do it. All right, so we have this moved up here now and I went ahead and filled that top piece in solid. So I didn't go up any higher. I just stayed at the same level and I just filled in the center piece. Now we're gonna go back to our iron or whatever you used for the legs. And we're gonna put one block here and now we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Same thing over here. One block and then five. Oops. All right. Same thing over here. One block there and five to the inside. And just connect them. All right. Now, depending on which way that the straight boom is facing, Pick your side. This is going to be the weighted side, and that's going to be our load side or our crane side. Find your middle block, which should be right here, and we're going to go back 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoops. <laughs> 13 blocks, I said. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go two above and two below, and two out this way, and two out this way. And this is my makeshift weight. And now we're going to go on this side, right here. And we're going to go 27 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And again, this length is completely customizable, guys. If you want to go out longer, go out longer with your counterweight. Maybe the counterweight's not out far enough as it is right now. But again, like I said, this is an unfinished design. So now all you have to do is just, <laughs> not that, grab your iron bars and go along the outside of the, the main boom. And go around the end. Go back to your iron block. Go down one. And go ahead and cage that in. And now from this point, it's all fence posts. Going down for your rope. And again, your iron bars. Same thing we did down there, just put a little hook on the end and put a load on it. Uh, you can use blocks on the end like I did. So let's say that's the bottom of your, your crane and it's got a load on it. Just go ahead and do this. And then mine was lifting up a pallet. So I put iron bars and I made some kind of a lifting structure and then took the iron bars down the side like this. Something to this effect, guys. From this point, it's it's all in provision. So you've got some sort of a pallet like that and like this. And hopefully that's centered. <laughs> yeah, I come out centered. 
And of course, this you know you're going to make that a lot bigger, and you're going to have different loads. So at this point here, you're just going to improvise on how you want it to lift. Your lifting mechanism, of course, will be your bars for your your main hook, and that is the straight boom crane, and that's all there is to it. Now we're going to build the orange one, or the ones that go to the 90 degrees, and the the main boom going up at an angle like that. This is going to be built the exact same way. So once I build this once off of this side facing cabin, you'll be able to modify that or basically just add that to this uh, this frame right here, this box. All right, guys, we are now on the boom part that is going to be angled. So it doesn't matter which, <laughs> I decided it doesn't matter which way this thing's facing, whether it's facing this way or that way, it's going to be exactly the same. So just concentrate on the top of the cabin. So this is what we have. We're going to go back to our main material, and I'm using back to the iron on top of the wood because that's, uh, that's just what I started building it with. So I've already pre-built this just to save a little more time on the tutorial. So is what you're going to do if this is this is the front of the cab and that's the back of the cab. And again, it doesn't matter if it's facing left, right, forward, or back. This is the front of the cab. You're going to have nine blocks sitting right here, and it goes flush with the front of the cab. Then you're going to have three blocks on each side, and you're going to run those back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should be one block short of the back of the cab. And then you'll have one block on each side, and that'll be two blocks shy of the sides of the cab. Just like that, and I'll give you an aerial. All right, now let's build the next piece. All right, saving a little time on building uh, again. This is what we have. You're just going to go right on top these three blocks here, and you're just going to build them straight back, and you're going to stop two blocks short, and you're going to run the middle one all the way to the back of that. Really simple. All right, the next section again is you're building up this nine block section, one more. Now you're going to put one more block on the front, and then you're going to outline it in bars, just like this. And now you're going to run back one, two, three, four, five blocks. And you're going to put another rack fencing or wood fencing on these last two blocks, just like that. All right, so the next layer on top of these three blocks, you're going to have another rack fencing. And then you're going to have one, two, three, four, five blocks, and then three pieces of fencing, just like that. It's going to go on these back three pieces. And then in front of that, you're going to have three pieces going this way, one that way, and you're going to outline this last block again with a cage. So that's what we have so far. All right, now shifting forward, one, two, three, four, five blocks. You're going to have another rack fence. And then you're going to have this little plus pattern. You're going to have four pieces, two pieces, another rack fence behind that and then a cage around that block. So again, from underneath, all we're doing is we're going up by an angle, one block at a time. So if I remove these side pieces, you can see what we're doing. We're walking up and starting to make the boom go up. And then say, and all this here is trim pieces on the outside of those middle blocks. And it's just got fencing, and it's just gonna start walking up behind it. That's all we're gonna do. All right, so now we're going to move everything upward, and I'm using World Edit here to move everything down just to save time, guys. All right, on the center piece, one, two, three, four, five, where that five pieces of another rack are. Now we're just going to start going up and over, up and over, up and over, one up and one over, a total of, and I'm going to count them with you, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 will take you all the way to the top right here. So when you reach that level, you're going to go forward one, two, three, four, five. And then on these, this block here, you're going to have three. And your nether rack fence should end up on that block right there. Like I said, I hope, hopefully this is very self-explanatory where you're just caging a block going up and you're having trim blocks on the outside and then netherrack fencing to make the boom. So again, if we rip this apart back here, we just take out this little section. This is all you're making. It's just sections of, of four, just little plus signs. 
So I'll take that off again. You're just making plus signs and stepping it up. So this one moves up, this one moves forward, and then you make another plus. Okay, so I'll take off another section just so you can see it. You're going to move forward and make a plus. And you can do that 18 times. And then you're just wrapping around this forward block of the plus sign with, a, uh, with your iron bars to make a cage. And then on the back side of the plus sign, you're just putting a piece of netherrack fencing here and here. So again, we go up to the next one. There's one. There's the three on the plus sign. There's the forward on the plus sign. And again, I'll tear that off and do it one more time. This block moves up. This whole section moves forward. There's the back part of your plus sign. Come out for the middle and then forward. And then wrap it around with bars just like that. And put your netherrack fencing on the back. And I'm using regular fencing because that's what I had. And then you're just walking this up and down. Oops, just like this all the way up 18 blocks 19 blocks 20 blocks whatever you want to do this mine is 18 and then your last plus sign is right here on your 18th level and you're just adding two blocks to the front of that and then one block underneath right here just like we did the lower part of the crane and then adding your rope and some sort of a support or a beam or whatever and that's all that's left up there is just <laughs> fucking ripped it apart <laughs> and that's all that's left up there guys is what's it's what's left of this fucking beam and uh when i'm lifting the beams i just wrap the bars all the way around it just like that <laughs> i got a little slack on the last part sorry guys <laughs> it's getting late it's like two o'clock in the morning my time uh, but anyways again that's your top section to make the boom go at an angle and again, it doesn't matter if the, the base is turned this way or that way. The cab is the main uh, center of point here. So <laughs> depending on which way you build it, you've got now you have a straight boom and an angle boom. And, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the tutorial. Uh, at this point, I don't know how long this is, so this may be part one or part two. Uh, if not, I'll just cut this end part out. Just remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out part two whether it's in a part two video or the second part of this. I don't know, guys. Have a great one. Love you. Later. Welcome back, guys, to part two of our crane tutorial. In this part, we are going to be covering this big old gantry crane. So let's go over some real quick dimensions, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So the overall width from this outside footing to the opposite footing on the other side so from here if you look at the other white block way over there it is 88 wide now from on the top it's wider so it hangs over on each side making it 96 wide from one end to the other and it is 60 long from this corner all the way down here to the other corner right right there and it's 62 if you go ahead and count these upside down stairs if uh, you guys on the uh, Xbox do not have this version yet you can use half slabs here when we get to that point or if you guys are on that uh, version at the time of this tutorial then you can go ahead and use that it is 71 high from the bottom block here all the way to the very top so that's what we have so far let's go over here and start building all right, this is a much bigger crane, so instead of using rails for this one, I used anvils just like I did in my train tutorial. And the easiest thing to do is just cut down into your, your dock or your ground or whatever you're going to do and trim it out with wood or cobblestone or whatever you want to use and then just run your anvils going this way. And that'll give something for your crane to run uh, on for a track system. Because I think the, uh, the minecart tracks are just a, a little weak for this unless you put two side by side and run them down again that's just a, a secondary option you can do whatever you want uh, we're going to start off by placing four pieces of bedrock or black wool again this is a beefier crane i figured i'd use bedrock on this one here so we're going to put down four pieces like that we're going to put down another anvil another anvil like this and now we're going to build and i'm going to have to drop here for this and squat with a shift key and put six pieces of bedrock and two anvils and then two more pieces of bedrock 
oops, four, excuse me, four pieces, and that is for the wheel system. And then we're going to outline it with stairs, just like that. And that's how all of them are going to be built. And I'm going to go ahead and set up for all four corners, and then we'll start building up. So starting from this block right here, we're going to count over 39 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three, seven, 38, 39. And on that block, that's where this stair is going to go. So it's going to be exactly opposite of, uh, of that one over there. Or basically the same damn thing. <laughs> Let's get some sunlight here. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go back to our bedrock, and we're going to put four pieces, two anvils, six pieces, two anvils, and four more pieces of bedrock, outlining the wheelbase again in your stairs just like this now from this corner here to the other set over there is 79 blocks so we'll go ahead and count that out one two three four five 77 78 79 so 79 is right here you're going to throw down this one here and just like we've been doing real simple anvils bedrock anvils and more bedrock and grab your stairs oh, we already did that side and one there and one here and now we're just going to repeat we're going to go 39 blocks to this corner over here go ahead and get that set and then we'll go back to the first one and start building guys all right your wheel systems are all going to be the same the only difference is is those over here are going to reverse be opposite of this right here so this that'll make more sense here in just a minute i'm going to be using cobblestone i'm going to put two here two there and some stairs stone stairs upside down those on the xbox if you don't have it use half slabs on the first set of cobblestone uh, blocks you're going to put half slabs here and then half slabs here grab the material you want for your crane i'm using yellow wool and we're going to go four wide and then we're going to put four more blocks two more blocks and then come out and then go four and two and come out again and, and then we're going to go back to our cobblestone and we're going to put that here and upside down stairs here here and half slab just above the stair into the back just like this so the only difference is is this side has four this side has two and this one sets in even with the stairs and this side sets out with the stairs so that's the only difference so this one will be exactly the same as that one so go ahead and build that and I'm going to show you how to build this in the opposite version of that so go back to your cobblestone and we're going to go here and here and our upside down stairs go right there now we're going to build oops half slabs go just above the stairs right there and four wide six blocks go out oops and then four blocks two more blocks and go out back to your cobblestone and put four and two pieces of half slab there and there here and here and your upside down stairs just like that now grab your iron bars and go in between and finish out the middle and build two more just like this so that one repeats over there and this one repeats over there and we're building it just like you're seeing right here so depending on how which way yours is facing I guess if you're putting this on this side it doesn't matter as long as you have the two blocks to the inside on each set so you can turn this around <laughs> as many times as you want to and uh, the two blocks will always be to the inside. All right, let's continue up. All right, this next piece is the same for all four. So we're going to start right here on the corner. And we're going to cover up those. And then come across. And then back. And just fill that in solid. Put two on the end. And put two on this end. And grab your glowstone. You're going to have two here. And two here grab your stairs and you're going to put one there and one here and then down here you're going to have one there and one here and use your trap doors to cover up the glowstone
just like that and I'll do the exact same thing on the other three all right so you got those four done now all we have to do is just cover up the lighting system with half slab just like this and take your building material and go to and then make like a bone shape just like this and do the exact same thing on the other four or the other three <laughs> All right, now on this side, which is the, the, uh, the small A-frame piece, we're just going to cover this up and cover that up. And then two in the middle. And cover this up. And make this three. And do the same thing over here. And make that three and make that three and now we're gonna go right here and we're gonna put a placement block and get rid of it so that we start two two wide and run that all the way down to the other one and stop one block short just like we did on this side And stop one block short all right sorry guys one minor adjustment this has to go out by four and your space needs to start here so just do the same thing over here sorry about that this is four not three so the four goes to the inside and then you're gonna build the same thing over here <laughs> with fours and threes not three and three except you're not gonna build that center beam all right so you should have all four done now and just make sure you just double check your pattern because I did screw up on those two when I was trying to put mine in just now. So just double check it and let's keep moving. All right, we're going to build this side first and then we'll get back to that side over there. So on this side, we're just going to put two blocks just like this and then go four wide and then connect it down there all the way and make one solid beam. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. So you're going to put two blocks and then four and then connect all four of those blocks to make one solid beam. All right, once you have one solid beam just like that, you're gonna go one more time just on top by two and then run on one more beam on top, two wide, all the way down. So that's what you should have on this side. All right, the next section is pretty easy. We're just gonna come in on the second block and you're gonna go up two so that you have a set of four just like that. Now you're gonna turn this section into four. So it's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to go up by fives 24 times starting right here on this block. Actually, this block. So you're always going to cover up three and add two. So there's five right there. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to cover up three and add two. Cover up three and add two and just keep working your way up until you have 24 sets of five. So here's one, two, three, and four. So you want 20, 24 sets. And you do the same thing over here. Let me get you started. You're gonna come in here, put two. Now put your four. Oops, we need two more right there. And now we're gonna go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go three, three, and add two. Three, three, and add two. And just keep working your way to the inside on both stacks until you get to the top where you have 24 sets of five. All right, if you did everything correctly, and hopefully you should have, you should reach the top and should be seven blocks apart, counting this one here. So two, three, four five six and seven just like that now we're just going to make that solid leaving two blocks exposed down here so just come back down two more blocks just like that so that's what you should have and i'm going to back up and kind of give you guys something to pause the video at and count if you need to just like that All right, guys, let's start on the other side. We're going to start on the forward part right here, and we're going to put two blocks and then go four wide 
And now we're going to go 10 back, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And it's going to hang over one block. And we're going to make that solid. Bam, bam. Just like that. Now on the fourth block back, 1, 2, 3, 4. Put one block right there. Now we're going to make this 2 wide and 13 long. Starting right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, and double it up. Now we're going to go five wide, but it's going to be heavier on this side, so we got four like that, and one like that. You fucking asshole. Really? You fucking piece of fucking shit. Run out of fucking memory, you cock fucker. All right, from this block, we're going to go 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and actually 11, and then 10 on the inside. So it's one short, and then bring that across three more. Now we're going to double up again from here and go 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And do the same thing here. And now we're going to go back to four wide, and you should be one block overhang right here. Just like the other side, and we should go ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Make it solid. And two blocks on the end. So that's what we have so far. We need to go underneath and build this down just a hair. Alright, so we're going to start on the front side of it, facing this way. And we're going to put three blocks in right here. One, two, and three. And now we're going to go to the inside of that and just to the outside. So starting right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And actually we're going to go nine and then go right here underneath that one and go back three. And all we're doing is just making this just a little bit thicker is all we're doing. So go ahead and do the same thing you did over there. Like that. Now we're going to make an opening right here where your stairs are going to go up. So we're going to grab our ladders and we're going to put two of them right here. And then pull down one, two, whoops, two, probably two blocks, three blocks. That way we can jump up on it and put some ladders on it. Now on the back side of that, we're going to skip a spot and we're going to go out two. And then we're going to come right in here and put another one. And then we're going to build this up by one. Now what's going to happen is we're going to put iron bars here and iron bars right there. And those are going to run all the way up on the outside of the ladder. And then this is going to stay solid going up. All right, so now let's build the stairs going on each side. And then we'll build the center column. All right, so let's build the stairs. So starting on this side, and they're both exactly the same. So we're going to build one side, and then you guys can build the other. Starting on these out, outside two blocks, we're going to build a six-block pattern just like that. So two by six, and again, flush with the outside. Now we're going to go up 11 times doing that off of the back set of blocks. So you're going to leave four exposed. So there's a set. So now you have two. And just keep going up. There's three. Oops. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And 11. So you should have 11 sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do the same thing over here. and 11. Now we're just going to make this solid from the inside. So just go ahead and fill this in. Alright, so that's what you should have so far. Now we're going to put some trim on this thing. And again, we're going to start on this side and it's going to be the same on the other side. And starting right here, we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, and as you can see, we're just making a step and we're just rounding this around the outside. So we're just going to keep going up by two. All right, and then two more right there. All right, go around to the outside over here, or the inside, excuse me, and uh, I forgot a block, and do the same thing. Two, all the way up. Just like that, so you have a neat little pattern. Now we're just going to make this solid on the outside and do the exact same thing over there. 
Let's go ahead and pull this down and we're going to connect it right here and it's going to connect to the back side of this just like that and we're going to fill this in solid and then we're going to do the same thing over here and I'll get you started so go on the outside one two so you're just skipping this block right there and you're just going back by two all right the same thing on the other side And on the inside, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to fill it in solid and connect to this piece right here and that piece right here. All right, now finish filling the rest of those in solid. All right, so now we have all four sides filled in solid. And I think I forgot to tell you, put your block right here. And it's, it's in the same position as the other one. So there's that one, and of course now we're solid across here, and there's that one. Now on the other side it's flat, and this will stay flat the rest of the time. Your trim is on the outside, so we're going to start over here. And again, this will be a mirrored image over there, and I'm, and I'm going to do both sides so you can see it. So I'm going to start with this block right here. Alright, this block should be over one. Sorry guys, I started to go and it wasn't right. So make sure you're lined up to the inside just on this one, this beam right here. And uh, let me double check the other side and make sure that's exactly where I put it. Yep, okay, so we should be <laughs> straight over that beam. Sorry about that. Alright, let's continue. Starting with this block, go up one and over one. And then make it four wide. And then go up one. And now we're going to draw the, the top part of it and then we'll fill it in solid. So starting with this block, real simple. You're going to go two, two, two. <laughs> Told you it was fucking simple. And two, two, and then we're going to put one right here. Now all we have to do is pull this across and stop that right here. You're going to fill all these blocks in solid, just like we did the other piece. Alternatively, you could have left the inside of this hollow, but I didn't want to confuse anybody. So <laughs> we're going to go up one and over four. And that's going to be solid anyways. So we're going to go up one more. And then two. All the way up. And you should stop on one block, one block from the top. So we're going to pull that down. And that's an extra one. <laughs> pull this down to here. And you're going to connect it to the center. Uh, no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm one block heavy. I'm gonna pull this across. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Now go ahead and fill those two pieces in solid, guys. All right. So the center block. This is where we're gonna crawl up through. And there's gonna be a hole right here. And so we're just gonna go ahead and pull this solid block all the way up to right here for now. And it doesn't matter where you stop that because that's gonna go all the way up anyways. And again, this is what you should have on each side. We're gonna pull this over until it cuts in like this. And then same thing on the other side, just like that. And guess what? We're going to make this solid. Or if you want, leave it hollow. And we're just going to come out just like this. And build it up to the top of this layer for right now. All right, when you reach the top, we're going to go ahead and pull this back just like that. This is going to go up solid, this inner one right here. So you're going to have the last two blocks right there. And then we're going to pull this wall up. And this is going to go all the way up until we get up there. And I'll give you a number here in just a minute. Now right on top, we're going to do the same thing we did here. We're going to leave four blocks exposed. And we're just going to fill it in just to trim it out. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. So there's your two blocks, and then you're going to come up again, and we're going to finish filling this in. And again, this is your solid wall. All right, so bring this across, leave two exposed, four blocks here, and then four in the back. So that's what you should have. And now we're going to make the back solid all the way up to this level right here. And it should be one layer above this trim piece. So pull this across. And now fill this in solid. 
All right, now that that's filled in solid, we're going to make this three wide and this three wide. And we can just go ahead and build it up by like two for right now. And that's just our starting point because this is going to be open here in the middle. And now on this side, this is going to be solid all the way up to the same point. So go across here and then fill that in solid and make this three wide also. Three wide, one, two, three, just like that. Oops, just like this, and fill this in solid. All right, so it looks just like the other side without the trim on it. Now we're going to go back and we're going to grab our ladders and our iron bars, and I'll let you look at that one more time. All right, let's go down here, and where we put our ladder in, we're just going to finish putting, um, I think I'm flying, <laughs> I am. We're just going to finish putting ladders all the way up this until you reach the top. And now iron bars right here and I'm jumping and flying at the same time <laughs> but don't put ladders on this side this is where your, your iron bars are gonna go right here so you don't want them there all right and I got one extra one right there so that's what you're looking at so far so you've got a little cage going up on the inside just like this. All right, and that's going to be the pattern the rest of the way up the tower. All right, from this corner right here, and that's all the way around, you're going to build this structure, these two U shapes, 39 blocks high, and then go ahead and finish your ladder and your bars all the way up. So you'll have this 39 blocks high from right here. So that's one, two, and then go up to 39. All right, so that's what you should have on this side. And we'll go ahead and don't forget to build this mill piece all the way up, which I forgot to do. Take that all the way up to the top of this uh, right here where it's even. And right there. And finish putting your ladders up and your iron bars. All right, now that we're at the top, we're going to start putting another layer on top of that. <laughs> we're we're going to, obviously, duh, Jag. <laughs> we're going to start building the, uh, the cabin here first. And uh, we're going to start right on this side, and we're going to go out four blocks. Two, three, and no, we're not. <laughs> and Jag's going to fuck you guys up. All right, starting on this block right here, we're going to go up by one, and we're going to go out two. And this is going to be four. Two, three, four, and just make that just like this. So that you have four out here. <laughs> I'll get this, guys. There's four right here, and then it's two wide on the outside of this wall. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So we're going to go up by one, come up by two, and you should have four blocks on this side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then just connect this to that one and this one to that one right there and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building a stack on top of this all right we're gonna start right here with uh, where your iron bars are we're gonna come up one block and then we're gonna go in three just like this and then we're gonna go up one more just like that and if you want you can put one more iron bar in here just right in there and then same thing over here on this side we're gonna make this solid and bring this up and bring another iron bar and then another piece of your yellow wool. Put a block there and you're going to have this a hole here and you're going to have a hole right there. So you're going to make two little eyeballs and then your ladder is going to come up right in between. So this is where you're going to come up through and we'll drop down so you can look at it. And probably right here we'll go ahead and make that solid so you don't see that shit coming up through. There we go. That's better. So you're five wide by three right now. All right, from this block right here, we're going to go eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and eight. <laughs> and you should be even with this, so you can pull this around. All right, now we're just going to outline this, this bottom layer that we just put in. So go out four blocks here, and then just start outlining that piece that we just put in. Alright, so starting around your hole, 
<laughs> we're gonna make another hole and another ladder piece and now we're just gonna make this solid across here and cover up that hole right there <laughs> this tutorial is getting dirty now we're gonna go ahead and pick up some stone and uh, I'm gonna show you where to put that in and you're gonna put three pieces in right here and don't worry about that overhanging we'll fix that here in just a second go back to your yellow and you're gonna put one on the back side of that and you're gonna go seven pieces two three four five six seven and then go three more stone just like this and go back to your yellow wool again and put one on the outside of that and go back three two three and it'll be just to the outside of this and we'll end up in, uh, tracing that layer around too now let's go back over here and we're gonna drop down just a hair and on this one we're gonna put three pieces underneath just like that all right now we're gonna grab right here on the corner of that that piece of stone and we're gonna run that across solid and I guess I'm getting I'm getting loopy again it's getting late and we're gonna stop right here and go on the outside of that stone and now we're gonna trace the other layer underneath leave this corner open and now continue around the outside all right just like that all right now we're going to go to our cobblestone and we're going to try to connect to that other side before we go up any higher we're going to go right here in the middle and actually you know what i forgot to do <laughs> I forgot to finish filling this centerpiece in. So uh, start right here and pull this across. And then right behind this piece of stone, fill that in solid. And this can be solid too, it doesn't matter. This is going to get covered up by a floor anyways. Alright, so now let's go right here. Go back to your cobblestone and you're going to go three wide in the middle. Whoops. And your center is right here. And I've got six pieces of wool back here, so if we go ahead and we can put one more strip of yellow, just like that, it'll be even with that side. And you can't really tell from underneath anyways, because that's where the tops kind of goes up in. So you've got three pieces centered up right here. One, two, three, four, five. You've got three pieces of cobblestone. Now you're going to run these across 76. And I don't think it's going to quite tie into that. I'll find out when I get over there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six... All right, so we've gone 76 blocks, and we should be three blocks short of this side. And I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, we made this solid at the top. So I'll let you guys look at that one more time. This should have been our last set of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three across, making it solid two wide. Same thing out here. All right, so that being five wide right here. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to find the center, and we're going to go three wide. And we're going to come out by three. So we just made a... Uh, nine block three by three <laughs> thingy <laughs> boy that's fucking technical <laughs> all right now we're gonna go up three two three and we're gonna make that solid and go ahead and make this solid <laughs> jack's funny <laughs> all right take this up uh one more so this is actually gonna run into it just like that and then take this up one more All right, all right. Take this last set off. Sorry about that. It's uh, only three. It's a Rubik's cube. God damn it. <laughs> three by three, nine blocks, all that good shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get technical now. Damn it. All right, now in each side we're gonna go. Oops, two wide here, and two more wider right there. And then we're gonna build that up. One, two and one two all right and we're gonna bump this out by two and bump this one out by two just like this and we're gonna fill up solid just to the outside of the cobblestone so it looks like it goes inside of it so underneath this is what you're looking at and then this is four we need to make it six so go again two more blocks on each side and all of that is going to be three deep. So go ahead and add two more on each side. And I should have made that solid in there. My bad. <laughs> all right, now let's go around this side. <laughs> I said we were going to build a cab first, didn't I? <laughs> 
this part's pretty easy so we'll just go ahead and build uh, part of this over here and we're gonna go right in the center again go three blocks and then go five on top oops just like this and build it out by two all right we're gonna build that up by three one oops don't put that one there but yeah put that one there <laughs> one two and then three now we're gonna go on the outside so we're looking at it just like this and we're gonna leave one of these layers just like this and we're gonna go above it one two three four and five and then come out one more time all right now we're gonna start connecting these to this over here and all that does is just outline. And you can leave a corner block open just to give it a little bit of dynamic look. Oops. And then right here on the second layer, just come out one block on each side. And that's where you're going to connect this one here at. And you're just going to outline it. So it looks something like that. And let's do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> I can't get in there now. <laughs> uh -oh. And I forgot what the fuck I did. Two more right there. And then one more right there. And I'll fly up here so you can look at it. <laughs> uh -oh. All right. Bring that like this. Oops. And leave that just three blocks right there for right now. All right, now let's go over here and finish uh, the cabin. We'll come back to this. Because <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> not, not really. I just I want to build the cabin, then we'll, uh, we'll build the upper part of the gantry, and then work that around the corner and round that off. It would just be easier that way. All right. <laughs> sure, Jag. <laughs> It's getting late. <laughs> All right, let's continue right here, guys. All right, starting right here, let's go ahead and build your stone up by one more. And this is just to help locate where we're going to be a little later on in the tutorial. Now I'll go on the outside of the stone right here and just go out about three. And we'll connect this in later and go solid between the stone and make this solid. All right, now on the outside of the stone right here, you're going to go back to your cobblestone, and one is going to go right here on each side, and uh, we'll go ahead and put that in right now. One there and one there. Go back to your yellow, and go out by one. Oops, nope, right here. Sorry, put one here and one there. Sorry about that, guys. And same thing over here, one on the outside of the stone, and then one covering that gap right there. So that's what we got. All right, so from underneath, what we're going to do is we're going to trace again just like we've been doing, except the only difference is we're going to make this one, instead of leaving these corners open, we're just going to wrap that in just like that and make a Z, and then again come out, and then around. And then we're going to follow it and wrap it just like we did the layer underneath that. Okay, so from the top, just go out and bring it around. Just like this and your last block right there now go ahead and fill the floor in solid and you're going to be needing some glass so grab some glass blocks and whoops as what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this hole right here oh shit and then just make your floor now again this doesn't have to be out of yellow wool you can make your floor out of different material because it's because <laughs> it's on the inside but I would probably at least trim trim around that glass. And then you got one more hole right here where your ladder comes up. And then just finish filling this in. Okay, we're gonna go back to our stone and we're gonna build this up by four. So two, three, and then four, two, three, and then four. And your cobblestone again, you're gonna skip one stone and then you're gonna have a cobblestone right here. Same thing on the other side. And the, these are going to be rails that go across the other side. We'll get to that in just a little bit. 
Now we'll go back to our yellow and we're going to build this up. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And your stone is going to go out again. So make sure we go three right here. I just had to double check my other one. And again, we're going to run that out about three or four. And the same thing here. One, two, three. And it just connects in right there. And I guess I'll put one on the back side of that. I don't think I need it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, go back to your yellow, and we're just going to build up a wall right here. Two and three. Same thing here. Two and three. Now on the back side of this glass, we're going to fill this in. Now we need to hide that stone from the inside. So we're going to one, two, three, and four, and build that up. Same thing on the other side. All right. Now on the outside of this right here, we're going to one, two, three, and then run that across. And now you're going to use your glass and you're going to overhang it on this layer right here, three high. One, two, three. And you're going to go by three. And now we're just going to overhang it inside of these gaps. And this should go back six. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'll let you look at it. I'll give you another angle of it. All right, go back to your yellow wool. And right here, go on the outside. And then you're going to build these two up right here. All right, so two of your layers are going to be solid. So put one more solid layer across here. And we're going to stop it right on that corner for right now. And then your glass is going to be set like this. Two. And then there'll be a solid. And I'll come back and I'll fill those in. Two. Skip one. Two. Skip one. Three. Skip one. Two. Skip one. Two. Skip one. Two. And you should have two more on the other side that are solid. Just like that side over there. And then pull a beam up in between. All right, now we need to wrap around the same thing on this corner. All right, so on the outside of your stone, go ahead and make that solid, and then fill this in, and then start your glass. One, two, and three. And then six, two, three, four, five, and six. And you should have one gap right here where you put one there and go up by four. So four total. And we need to fill this in right there. All right, now just build everything up by one more. So we're going to go here, right there, across the top of your glass. Now right here we're going to build that out one and we're going to build this out one. Same thing here and then there and then solid stone all the way across the top. And again this will make a little more sense in, in just a little bit. Alright the next part is real easy we're just going to go to the inside and put a roof on it so it doesn't matter where you start just go right there. And we're going to make this solid. And we're going to cover up all our stone too. So go ahead and come in by one block. Leave this one here exposed. So it makes like an L. And then make this solid all the way across here. To that edge. And then pull this one across to this edge. Covering up your stone. And again I'm one longer over here. But we'll connect that later. No big deal. Stopping one short. All right, now on the inside, we're going to make a roof access point. So come in right here and put some ladders going up 
and same thing on this side right here and I think I've got one set of extra blocks right there I do so you should have four and four just like that now we have a roof access to go up here <laughs> now let's add the roof all right now I'm using netherrack fencing you can use regular fencing if you want and we're just gonna outline the outside of the roof section and then run it this way same thing over here and it should be right here at the corner of your roof access point now we're gonna go back to our yellow block and we're gonna go over two and on the third block and then make this pattern here with three in the middle one two so you should be two blocks away from that again and then just make it solid just like this now build it up a total of three high and make the third layer solid all right so that's what your cab should look like and again this shit here will make more sense in just a few minutes all right back over here on this section we're going to go ahead and build this and then we'll be able to connect over there so we're going to fix kind of <laughs> we're going to fix kind of where i fucked up earlier it's not bad all right so we had one two three four five six and that was right on the layer where the cobblestone connects in right here right so now out here we had three blocks we're going to have three blocks the next one in we're going to have two take this one off and move back by one and then take that one off and move that back in by one and then take that one off so then from underneath is what we're going to have we're going to need to take this one and that one off and now do the same thing over on the other side so we've got three two two oops one and one so we've got three two one 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 and then just go ahead and take that off right there again this is cosmetic shit but if you want it to look like mine and so i don't get fucked up later i had to fix it all right now we're just going to go ahead and make that layer solid all right so your next layer is you're going to cover up those three cobblestone pieces and then go three more and then three more so you should have a total of nine blocks now on the outside of that you're going to have a piece of cobblestone here and a piece of cobblestone right there and that should connect in all the way over to this very first one right here and same thing on the other side so let's pull it across and make sure jag didn't fuck up and holy shit it connects so the other one's going to connect too all right let's continue this around all right so we're going to go back to our yellow and we're going to go one two three whoops and then we're gonna have one piece of stone just inside here do the same thing on the other side one two and three with a piece of stone right there now go back to your yellow and you're gonna go five two three four five and then two and you can leave this one in here because you're gonna make this whole thing solid in the middle so just put three two and then two and then that's gonna come across on the outside of that so we're gonna have five two three four five three two and two and that should connect just to the outside of that and it does hooray for jag <laughs> glad i fixed that now we're just going to go ahead and make this solid and that'll cover up the holes that you see right there all right grab that other cobblestone and bring it all the way over to that one all right a real quick look at what we have so far and a nice place to stop the video if you need to and we'll look at it from underneath and it's the same on this side all right let's continue up all right go back to your stone and go one two three just like this and one two three so it kind of wraps around now go back to your yellow and put two on the outside here and make that four and then go one two three now you're just going to stay just to the inside of all these so you go two and then one two and three and then this should go solid just behind that stone 
and just like that. Now do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, put one more, <laughs> two, one, and then one, two, three. And that should go behind that one. And then just connect these from the outside. And now just go ahead and build all that up by one. Well, one more. <laughs> Now go back to your cobblestone, and one goes here, and one goes there. Imagine that. Guess where they connect? To those two over there. Make it happen. All right, you connected those. I bet you can guess what the next part's going to do. We're just going to build this up one more here, and same thing around the outside. Oops, leave that open. I'm going to pull the stone up to right there. And right here. Whoops, one too many. All right, go back to your yellow, put in your piece right here, and go across here, and then bring this back. And again, this part's optional, it's being hid anyways, but OCD, gotta fill it in. All right, now your stone is gonna go this way right here on the outside so put like two pieces two pieces and then your yellow and then your yellow and at this point we can go ahead and connect everything where it needs to be connected so if you look here above the cobblestone this layer right here and then these uprights right here those connect down here to these So these go up, and we're going to go up to the stone layer, and we're going to connect the stone layer. And the stone is going to stay the same pattern, this L shape, all the way across until it connects into that stone over there. So let's go ahead and grab it and make sure that, again, Jag didn't fuck up. And all right, it connects. Now, this is a little bit lower, so if you want to go ahead and pull the rest of this pattern over, this stone right here, all the way across the top, and then you can finish right here with that. That'll connect in right here. Just like that. Go ahead and fill that in. And then your yellow. And then just keep pulling this up. So you, you're going to have a hollow tube on the, in, on the inside. So if you wanted to, you could actually walk from one side to the other. That's, that's up to you guys. I'll let you guys decide what you want to do there. All right, so go ahead and pull all this together and do the same thing over here. That way we don't get, this, we don't get screwed up over here. Pull this across. And then your yellow is too high over here. One and then two. Okay, same thing over here. Your yellow is going to be too high. And stop right there at the corner of that stone for right now and then we'll build the back side so go ahead and connect all that stuff over there to everything over here should be self-explanatory don't put anything extra in it all right guys so that's what you should have so far and i'll let you take a real good look at it you should have stone across the top two yellow and as what you did is you made a channel uh, of stone that's surrounded by yellow wool and these connect into it so right there and then it's backed behind that with wool and then one ledge and then again there's your solid top and that's hollow back there so this should be pretty self-explanatory like I said before we started building this part of it and everything just connects over here and you're just and just connecting it. it's really fucking easy all right this next part I guess uh, you, again you can guess what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull all of this this edge here this edge and let's go ahead and make that even so that I can show you everything right here and then cover up your stone pull that across all the way and then also your nether rack fencing so you have a solid piece all the way across the top and again I want you to stop right here where the stone stops 
because what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to round it in and make it look nice and pretty. So go ahead and finish pulling that over. All right, so that's what you should have right now. You should still have this end exposed. You have, should have a nice little walkway to the inside. And your stone is exposed. You brought over your nether rack and you brought over that cool little square looking thing. All right, let's go ahead and finish trimming this off and we're just about finished, guys. All right, go back to your yellow wool and this part's pretty easy. You're just gonna go ahead and go up one more, not in there, and then make this solid. Pretty simple. So just go ahead and trace everything and make it solid. All right, now you're just gonna run this all the way to the end, just like that. And you're gonna leave some, blo some blocks exposed just like this, just for, again, for some depth. And this is gonna get outlined in the nether rack fencing. So again, take this all the way to there. And I obviously have a design flaw. Oh, no, right here, here it is. <laughs> Scared Jag for a minute. And make that solid. And again, across here one more time. And now all you have to do is just bring this down here to the corner, that down here to the corner, and cover it up here. Finish it off. And give it a roof or a top. And if you want to make it kind of blend in a little bit, you can knock these top corner pieces off just like that. And your nether rack fencing will run into it right here. Super, super, super easy. <laughs> Hopefully it was. And just like that. And I obviously ran that one too far. <laughs> Thought it looked kind of funny. So just back up. Just one. And same thing here. Now it should be right. Yep, now it's right. <laughs> <laughs> super easy all right the whole crane is now built guys now the next part is however you want to do this I'm going to show you how to make the main blocking system that you see right here and you can open it up and close it to wherever you want for whatever kind of load that you're going to put on it so I'm going to go ahead and build just like I have over here and uh, and finish this fucker off all right, so go ahead and figure out your positioning, and we're gonna start with, uh, I used a block of iron, and we're gonna start in the back. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and there's gonna be one skipped here, and again, we're gonna go one, two, three, and this is gonna come across just like this, and then one more, and one more, and then down to the edge right there, and make that solid, and then we're gonna go one more, one, two three four five and one two three four five and actually this connects right there now we can just go underneath and do the exact same thing on the other side we're gonna have five pieces we're gonna put put in four right now it's gonna overlap right there and then we're gonna go up two three four and connect it here and here and then do the exact same thing on the other side. Go out, go up in, go across the beam, and then go down the beam to the back side. Skip one, go up, go over, and then out and connect. And there's your main cross member for one of your blocking systems. And oops, I forgot to put one more block right there. Again, that's cosmetic shit, whatever. <laughs> And then you can put the other one wherever you want it for your, your spacing of your load. All right, now we're going to go back to our yellow, and we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Go to the, out, the other side, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And now we're going to go off this one, one, two. And we're going to have one right here, one, two. So that's your main block. Same thing over here. One, two, one, two, three. Same thing here and right here. So that's your starter block. Now I've got one more in the middle here and here, and then I'll pick up my either bedrock or black wool, doesn't matter. You're gonna go here, here, 
here and there. And again, your fencing or another uh, rack fencing, whatever you want to use. And this is going to be a little hard for me to see because it's a little bit darker. And adjust your load to whatever height that you're going to have it. So for right now, mine's going to be here. And I'm having a hell of a time seeing this. And I think I went six. And oh, we need one more. Now at some point, you can go six, 10, or 12, or halfway to your load. Again, this is, this is up to you. But we're gonna build another block system, just like we did up here. So we're gonna go to the outside and do this. Oops, we don't need that one. Whoops, no, we need that one, not this one. Just like that, and we're gonna make it too high. and pull your fencing through and continue it downward. And you do the same thing over there on that one and of course on the other set that you make will look just like this. Now on mine I use anvils to connect the load. The only problem is at this point it does no fucking good. So if you have a load on it and let's say we're carrying this bedrock Eh, something like this, whatever the fuck your load is. And we're, you know, wherever it's going to connect, of course, your anvils can sit right on top. And they're not going to fall. So if you're not carrying load, is what I use is a piece of half slab underneath. And I'm going to show you. And that's going to fall right underneath the anvil. And again, those on the Xbox, you have to wait for this update until you can do that right there. So from a distance, it just looks like the connectors heading down to pick something up. And that is it, guys. That is the gantry crane, and hopefully you did the dock cranes. Again, I don't know if this was one section or two videos. I have no idea. I can't fucking remember. Or actually, not that I can't remember. I haven't fucking put them together yet. <laughs> It's late. I'm tired. I hope you guys had a great time. That is the crane could crane tutorial. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.